Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Deadfire with me, Bring It Dawn. Let's level up. Athletics and insight for my main character. I do want Glorious Beacon. I think Eternal Devotion is the way to go right now. Because even upgraded, it still only costs one zeal, where Glorious Beacon costs two. And also with Glorious Beacon, you have to hope the enemies group together. And this one I can just kind of use as I see fit. So after use, the Paladin's attacks temporarily receive bonus burn damage. And Adair gets Athletics and Streetwise. So I do like Tactical Barrage more than Discipline Strikes. I'm curious, it gives a dare plus 5 intellect when it uses it. I assume it doesn't extend its own duration, unless you cast it a second time. So you could make it synchronize with itself, This intellect extends the duration of buffs. Now plus 1 to power level, so I do like to use Discipline Barrage, or in this case, Tactical Barrage before we use Mule Kick. And this will further empower that. There's some good stuff in this tree as well. Actually a pretty tough call. I'm gonna go Tactical Barrage for now. The fighter now also gains the acute inspiration, so plus five intellect and plus one power level. All right, Jody gets Arcana and Religion. She unlocks Wicked Briars at this level, sprouts thick thorny vines from the ground, causing persistent pierce damage to two and hobbling any that remain in the area of effect. I do like Searing Seal, but it's not faux AoE. You have to be careful where you place it. And Champion's Boon seems really good as well. And a couple of good passives. So I think Rapid Casting is a no-brainer here. And then do I want to damage and debuff the enemies, or do I want to buff one ally? I should grab Sign of Flame for her as well, since I am leaning more into the burn damage spells, like Shining Beacon. And I will grab Searing Seal at some point. Let's grab Searing Seal, since I did not get Glorious Beacon on my Paladin. Yeah. Alright, before we go further into the dungeon, let's swap out for a combat pet. Quick save, sure. and here we go. Enemies ahead. All right, they are resistant to piercing damage. I'll swap them over. Huh. 
I bring you. Just like. It's more crawling out of the ground over there. I'm going to hold off on any debuff spells until they all cluster up. Uh, yeah. We have some scrambling up the sides as well. And just drop this back here while they run into it. isn't doing the job. Alright, a lot of them came up out of nowhere. I think now's a good time to drop a searing seal back here. Maybe one of these guys. Yeah, let's go with Cleaving Stance here, since there's a lot of enemies around. Uh, we should probably get Aloth somewhere safe. I mean, this is a regular skeleton, so I don't think he's actually under threat. Not very helpful. A lot of really weak enemies mixed in with some relatively powerful ones. There's a priest there as well. Uh, once this guy's taken care of, I need to drop a slick back here. Or slick in. Guess I could do it now. But I don't want to be interrupted. So hold off on that for just a little bit. Fireball is probably a little too risky. Well, at least right here. Uh, probably cast it back here without issue. Alright, I'm going to have a dare move back here and help out with clearing the trash in the back line. Right, hang in there, buddy. I couldn't pop this instead. He went straight for Aloth. Not a huge fan of that. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. Maybe knock him down with a dare? Try to get him to safety. So Jody should be able to take out the priests. At least that's the plan. Let's go. Yes, yes. Yes. 
position. <laughs> Oh, she didn't finish him off. That's okay. I think we've got this in the bag. Oh, there's a mage down here, too. It's enough to go. Had the armsman next. Uh, let's try and get a heal over there to keep them alive. Something like that should work. He's trying to all the tentacles that just sprouted Take out of the ground, down. but I think we'll be okay for a little while longer. Um, a little bit more healing out. Not a fan of that, of course. A lot of things in this fight I'm not a fan of. Alright, let's see if we knock down the mage to buy us a little bit more time. Let's turn this off as well. My guy's going to be taking burn damage, so I don't need to focus on him. I would like to crowd control him. Oh yeah, we need to swap his stance back to warrior stance. matters take out the mage whoa oh, that's a tough little fight Decent loot to boot. What can 
can I do you for? All right. And two more level ups to hand out. So sleight of hand and metaphysics for Seraphin. I said upgrade psychic backlash. Do brutal backlash. Also inflicts raw damage to the target. It might be worth grabbing greater focus and keen mind. Rapid casting is also good. Let's go ahead and grab that. That's plus 10, and that's plus 10. See, is it worth grabbing this, though? Because he can generate focus throughout the fight. But the problem is, it does seem like he is... generating it very slowly. I'm gonna grab Detonate. So Splinter is a target soul with sheer force, inflicting raw damage to them. Near-death targets explode, causing crush damage to all in the area of effect. Yeah, let's grab that. Sounds like a fun ability. Oh, the Forgotten Mausoleum. This probably leads to the sacred stair. Yes, yeah, so if you come in the proper way, you'd have to go around this way and circle around. So I'm assuming the Forgotten Mausoleum is where we'll find the eulogy. Also, I forgot to level up Aloth. Mechanics and Bluff. I wonder if finishing blow would be worth grabbing on Aloth. He does a fair bit of damage with his scepter. But I think I should grab more spells just so we have more versatility. It's going to grab a Rengrim's Repulsive Visage. I already know what it does because my main character has it. I do think it's a worthwhile pickup. You might find this interesting. On it. Balance of Discipline, uh, plus two max discipline. Can only be used by the fighter. Congratulations, Adair.
Plus three accuracy is probably better used on Seraphin. Help it more reliably generate what can focus. I do you for? All right. Enemies ahead. Take them down. I bring your end. Happen, I swear. Yeah, curses. Hey, that wasn't half Parathus. Yeah. Does he have... All right, I have an idea. Do that instead. This gives him an AoE option with his uh, standard range Captain. setup. What for, Cap? It distracts him, but he does some burn damage. Ahoy! Just how Ahoy. detrimental is distracted? Yeah. Captain. Aye. You might. I can barely see that. It's interesting. <laughs> I. I shall. Will do. Subtle indeed. It is done. I see the wits of their eyes. Alright, so he's not resistant to piercing. Uh, we can have Seraphin focus him down. This guy's immune to it. And resistant to burning. So I don't know if I want to use brand enemy on him or not. I Probably not. Let's pull back. We have a few enemies here to deal with. I bring your end. Yeah. Yes. Well, there's some skeletons over here. They buy us some time, hopefully. Oh, sorry, it's not a guaranteed skeleton. It's any uh, vessel, right? 
It's a Luminous Revenant. He can hold the line for a little while. Well, hopefully we take care of this uh, Risen Champion. Can't make a dent. Keep casting, doing your best there, Jody. The champion is almost down. We still have a mage to deal with. A really nasty fight overall. Not very helpful. Let's go. Get lava fireball back here. Because who's going to stop me? The Risen Champion was healed. Is there... There is a priest. Nightcap. Let's do this instead. Champion's finally down. Uh, let's go after the armsman with the dare. Or better yet, I would have enough for it. Right, let's see what happens here. I think we've got it under control, but we may not. <laughs> Take him down. Alright, well, Aloth is down. That's probably okay.
So Adair is currently a pig. <laughs> okay. Back to normal again. That's great. So really want this armsman to go down because then we can actually focus fire, take care of the champion. And I think we're in good shape. We just have to make it to that point. So he's already used his heal up. We do have more healing on his belt. Probably what we need to do right now. So he's done for. Just like that. All right, champion down. Fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and put grand enemy on the priest. All right, dare you really need to take this guy out for me, please? Hey, we had some good times. And not go down yourself. That's uh, that's the big one. So the priest is going to die to burn damage. Hopefully before we're done with this guy, then we just focus on the armsman, and we're done. We will have to rest up after this fight, though, because things have gotten a little out of hand. <laughs> Take him down. Uh, let's actually swap our weapons. He's a uh, resistant to slash damage. We should be using crush damage here. That's me. I don't want to use Lay on Hands. I want to save Brand Enemy for this last guy. Got it. Yeah? Let's see if we make it that far, though. Can't hit both, but we do have this. Something I can. Could... 
And what's damaging us over time? We have deep wounds, so 2.8 raw damage. And gouging strike. That's annoying. But what can you do, right? So I'm afraid if my main character goes down here, that's going to be it. We really need this guy to go down. Let's go. Alright, so keep popping potions, buddy. Alright, Risen Priest should go down here very shortly. That's right. Fantastic. Guy down. Awesome. See a nice meat. Oh my, my. Right on target. Okay, I was actually really nervous we weren't gonna make it through that fight, but we did. Done in what for, Cap? Oh, I Fantastic. On it. Alright. It's not great loot, but we can sell it for a good chunk of change, which is good because we are hurting for money. I just spent everything. Sorry, accidentally all tabbed out. All right, I'm gonna call the episode here. In the next one, we will continue through the Hanging Sepulchers. I feel like we didn't get a lot done. These fights just took a long time to get through. But we got through them, so. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.